Hello my YouTube friends. This is Lil Hipster and I quit my job yesterday. It's very exciting. Um, yeah, for those of you who know me, I'm no longer a waitress anymore. And I debated in this video about um, maybe telling you guys where I worked at and what restaurant. Somebody, somebody already figured me out. I think some of you might already know, but I have decided after much deliberation, I'm not going to tell you what restaurant I worked at because I don't want to get sued. So we're not going to be doing that. Um, as you might notice, I'm sitting here in my very, very empty apartment because my bandmates and I, uh, as of tomorrow, we will no longer be living in Music City. We're going to be moving to Florida. So I'm going to be going on my scooter. It's a 700 mile scooter journey and uh, I will be making YouTube videos along the way as well. So you can tune in for that. Anyways, I want to talk more about waiting tables and quitting my job yesterday. It was pretty emotional. I had been at that same restaurant for six years, which any of you who have waited tables, you know, you know, six years is a long time to be at one restaurant. And honestly, I stuck with it for so long just because I'm really not the type to uh, switch jobs a lot. Um, so yeah, like. I normally stay at one job for quite a while. That's not unlike me at all. Um, anyway, yeah, I quit and I gave him, I gave them a really good notice, which surprised me because uh, there were so many times that I never thought I would leave that place on good terms. <laughs> I wanted to walk out so many times in the middle of so many busy shifts. It was just crazy. But um, I stuck with it and uh, did what I needed to do and uh, quit yesterday. It was my last day and I was so sad that I cried like a big baby. <laughs> but you, it's weird because as much as I really, really hated that place, I really, really loved that place too. It's... Um, it's where I met all my friends, you know, and uh, so many good people come in there. But it was it was just time to quit, and I could feel it, too. It was getting to the point where, like, I didn't want to work on the patio anymore, and I didn't want to take parties anymore, and I didn't want to wait on our regulars anymore, you know. Like, <sighs> I don't know how to say this, but... Having regular customers is great and everything, but towards the end there, it was just pissing me off because like at this place that I worked at, all of our regulars, while they they seem to be nice people, um, their orders are all so particular. Like, and it's like a it's like a freaking charade just trying to make sure that they all get their food the exact way they wanted it and even timing on some of these orders is an issue like we have a couple who orders two sides of french fries with their crab and they want the first side of french fries with their crab and they want the second side of french fries as a dessert and they just they do it every time which is fine but it's just it's silly you know like <laughs> I was getting so tired of that that nonsense. You know who I really liked waiting on? Soup and salad guy. And uh, he was my favorite regular. You know why? Because he never talked to me. I don't even know his name. He came in all the time. All I said to him was, Hi friend, here's your water with the lemon. And I have your clam chowder and your Caesar salad coming right up. And that was the extent of our conversation. But I will remember that man forever because he was my favorite regular. He didn't ask for shit. He did not care. Uh, I also like the coconut shrimp and sweet tea guy. He's good too. He's a good one. And my friend Ashley. I like waiting on her. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't know. All of our regulars can kiss my ass because... They were horrible. There's the soup and salad guy who was great. And then there's the soup and salad people who are awful. 
it's three of them and they come in and order soups and salads and they have all kinds of crazy specifications on their soup and salad it's like why can't you just get a goddamn soup and salad like everyone else i don't know <laughs> but see i get tense just talking about it and so you could tell it's time to quit you know um yeah anyways no more waiting tables for this girl it's gonna be all singing from now on and uh yeah no more nashville for this girl either be super sad anyways that's really all i have to talk about i love you guys please comment like subscribe thank you bye bye